This is how you can install AirPods beta firmware to your AirPods. The first thing you need is AirPods that support the new beta firmware that you are planning to download. So Apple will tell you generally which devices the beta firmware is supported on. So for now, for this video, you will need the AirPods fourth gen and the AirPods Pro second gen. These are the AirPods Pro second gen. Keep in mind that some features will require the AirPods Pro 2 or later. Another thing you need is an iPhone running the latest iOS 18 betas. You can see, like I mentioned, I'm on iOS 18.3, which is not yet available. So it is in beta and you need a Mac that's also running the latest beta. So you can see on my Mac, if I go to software update, I am uh, on the Sequoia developer beta and I'm running the betas and this is the latest version that I'm on Mac OS Sequoia 15.3 with a version that hasn't yet been publicly released. Another thing you're going to need under your Apple developer account, you are going to need the latest Xcode developer beta and it's going to, how to tell if it's the latest, it's going to be the, at the top of your applications under Xcode and also the build number you can see is going to have like a build that doesn't look like an official release. So this one you can see has an A at the end unlike this and now we're going to download this Xcode 16.2 beta to save you some time the reason why we have to download and install the latest beta version of Xcode is so that we can put our iPhone into developer mode so it's possible you might already have the latest version of Xcode so what you can do to check whether you have it and whether your iPhone has the ability to go into developer mode you can go into your settings right there and then you want to go down to where it says privacy and security as you can see right here click on it just like this and now if you go all the way down you should be able to see developer mode where you can go in and turn on and if you don't see it like what i what's the case right here that means you need to follow the next steps by using xcode step number one is to pay your airpods with your iphone and verify that they are connected so you can always verify by going into the settings you can see boom the airpods show up and they are connected and then step number two is to connect your iphone to a mac with xcode beta that we've just installed you don't need to create a new project or do anything else but when prompted to click allow device to connect to Mac and trust computer on the iPhone, make sure you click that. To show you what I've just said in action, so I have the latest version of Xcode beta running on my Mac right here and this USB-C cable, one end of it is connected to that Mac that has Xcode running and open. I didn't need to create a new project as long as Xcode is open. I'm going to take this USB-C end of this cable and now I'm going to plug it into the same iPhone that didn't have the developer mode. And keep in mind that if you get a prompt to allow, then click allow. My Mac and iPhone communicate regularly and I've already done that way, way in the past. So if you do get a prompt that says allow your iPhone to connect, then click allow. And now once you're done, you might need to close your settings application. And now if you go and reopen your settings, you can go here. And now if we go to where it says uh, privacy and security, actually I will do that again. So if we go into settings and then go to where it says privacy and security right here. Now, if we go all the way down, you can see developer mode is now available before it wasn't available. And now you can see here, I have the ability to turn on developer mode. But before we do that, I want to make sure that the airports are actually connected to my Mac. So I'm going to quickly open up the airports just like this. The way I like to keep them connected to my iPhone rather is like this. So open them, I can hold them open or when I lay them on the table, sometimes when I lay them like this, the lid sort of comes uh, like tries to close a little bit and that's not good. So you can lay them down like this or alternatively, you can just hold them in your hands like this. You can see they are connected right there and they haven't yet been updated because we haven't enabled the developer beta for firmware updates for the airport. So now if we go into our settings and then go to where it says privacy and security again. So privacy and security go all the way down. You can see developer mode is there. And now if we turn it on, so when we try to turn on developer mode, there's going to be a quick disclaimer as you can see right here. And we need to restart our device in order to enable developer mode. Once the iPhone restarts, it says ready to enable developer mode. Developer mode allows you to use features that are required 
for app development when developer mode is turned on your device security will be reduced just the same disclaimer as you saw now if we swipe up are you sure you want to enable developer mode so you can click enable or you can click don't enable which apple is trying to tell you hey don't enable because enable is red so just click where it says enable developer mode now input your passcode and boom your iphone is going to restart just like this and now we are back to life now if i just put in my passcode just like this i'll make sure my airpods are connected to my iphone again so open it like this and now if i go into settings let's see if the airpods pop up boom the airpods do pop up right there and uh if i go all the way down we still haven't updated but now if we go to where it says privacy and security right here and then go all the way down you can see developer mode is now on if i could go back in my settings so this is the privacy and security tab that we came through and then if i go back to the general settings homepage that you can see right here you can see all the way down we now have this developer tab that has popped up now make sure your airpods are still connected you can see my halfman half tech airpods pro 2 are here right there and if i go to this new developer tab that has developed under just the general settings this is not under the privacy and security it's under just the general settings and you can see here i can go all the way down go to this new tab and now we have the ability to enable a bunch of developer settings and if you go through the list you actually come to a section that has the airports where it allows you to enable pre-release firmware versions so you can see this one says airports testing pre-released beta versions if you click on it just like that it will show you uh the airports that you might have and pre-release beta firmware updates are available these updates will be installed when your airports are in their charging case and nearby this iphone so that's basically how they are going to update which is a simple way so what you want to do is go ahead and then turn on the pre-release for the airpods name that's associated with the airpods connected to your device so you saw mine right there now what i want to do is click where it says agree just like that and now we are going to be re receiving beta firmware updates for these airports using this iphone oh, and by the way once you've already seen the developer tab and enable developer mode there's no need to keep your iphone plugged into your mac so once you've already gone into your privacy and security settings and then you see you see this developer mode and you turn it on you can after it's turned on you can actually unplug the cable from your iphone but now you can see we've enrolled into the airports developer testing mode and you know there's a bunch of stuff that you can do but for now we are just focused on the airports pre-released beta testing so now i'm quickly going to let my airports update and from here on it becomes pretty simple similar to how we usually update our airpods if you no longer wish to receive these beta firmware updates on your airpod and continue you know in this developer mode you can turn off the airpods testing program settings that we enabled right there so turn that off and then if you go back to where it says um privacy and security and you don't want to continue having your iphone in developer mode you can turn it off right there restart your device and boom you are back to normal obviously this video wouldn't be complete if i didn't show you that my airpods pro 2 have been updated to the latest build number which is a beta build so i want to show you that and of course for me to be able to demo this i had to keep the developer mode in my settings on so you can see developer mode is on and another thing i wanted to show you in developer mode if you have a previous trusted computer that you don't want to trust anymore and you want to clear trusted computers you can actually do that right here just for added security and i still have the pre-released firmware updates on for my airpods pro 2 with USB C. so that way i was able to get the firmware update so now if i take my airpods case right here open it up you can see it's connected to my iphone if i close this pop-up here just give it a few seconds you can see they pop up and now if i go down all the way like this you can see when we go to uh, the bottom here the version has been updated and i also believe the case number has been updated so the new version that we have is the current latest 
uh, version of beta firmware updates for AirPods when it comes to the AirPods Pro 2, whether it's Lightning or USB-C, and it's the current latest version for the AirPods 4. So the build number or the version right there is 7E67B. So that's the latest, and I believe the case number was also updated from the previous build that I had. So you can see the case number 74.5.0. Zero. So that's the latest case number. If you don't go through the whole process that I showed you right here and you don't put your iPhone in developer mode, then your AirPods will still update, but they won't be on the beta version, of course. And there's a publicly available page about AirPods firmware updates, and you can see the publicly available ones for the AirPods Pro 2 and then for the AirPods uh, 4. You can see right there. So the version that I was coming from is 7B21, but now that that I'm on the beta, I'm on a higher version of the AirPods. And to update the AirPods is actually pretty simple. So, you know, if you want to update whether it's on the beta, whether it's it's on the regular updates, you most of the times have don't have to do anything. What you have to do once you know you want you know there's a new firmware update and you want to update to it, you just let your AirPods connect to your iPhone like this. So I'll just restart just for demonstrated demonstration purposes so if i open this right here my airpods connect to my iphone i'll just wait a few seconds for this orange light indicator to disappear and then once it disappears right there just like that it went off i know the connection is fully established so now what i have to make sure is that my airpods are charged to you know about i would say over 50 percent i usually charge them to 100 percent and to update mine i actually just take my airpods once they connect and the orange light disappears and i know they are connected i just close them like this put my iphone down take my airpods and then plug them into like a charging source something like that and then leave it there for about 10 minutes and that's literally what i did and my airpods updated to the new build number that you saw right there so that's how you do it. It's actually pretty simple. Um, the steps, I try to simplify it as much as possible and hopefully this video makes for you. The next thing I'm gonna do is actually uh, for the next couple of hours, test this new beta version of AirPods that has been released and then I'll let you know how it goes. So if you wanna see that, definitely hit like and subscribe. My name is Ben and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.